left your Thanksgiving shopping until now, good luck to you as people get off work. Grocery stores are filling up with shoppers. That's right. WLWT News 5 Sean McKinnon joins us from Meyer in Oakley with what part of your meal is going to cost you less this year? Hey guys, as expected, this parking lot is getting busier. You can imagine the inside of the store is just as bad. And while this Thanksgiving will cost you more than it did five years ago, the biggest part of your Thanksgiving bill, the bird, is going down. The day before Thanksgiving at Meyer in Oakley, daytime crowds relatively calm. I was shocked. I think everybody did what I did. I went out and I bought all of my uh, ingredients and everything for Thanksgiving really early. Okay. So I'm just picking up a few things that I didn't get. There's no mad dash for last minute turkey, at least for now. Got a lot of cooking going on. Um, got a ham in the smoker. My girls got the turkey brining, football, food. Yeah, and a little, you know. The American Farm Bureau says the cost of a Thanksgiving meal is down 5% this year but still up 20% compared to 2019. It's just a little, a little overwhelming at times. This month, experts say consumer sentiment is rising. For some, those prices losing their sticker shock. I feel like they're right around, right in the middle. The Farm Bureau says turkeys are gobbling up the biggest change in price. Americans, on average, are buying smaller birds, driving down cost. There's still time left today to buy food, but if you put it off until tomorrow, some stores will be closed. Walmart, Target, Trader Joe's, Aldi, Costco, and Sam's Club will not be open. If you are in need of a last minute ingredient, Meyer and Kroger will be open. It's just the preparation and you know the running around getting everything pulled together and trying to not stress about getting everything done in time. Economists at the Farm Bureau say you can make a Thanksgiving meal for 10 people for $58. We're in Oakley tonight. Sean McKinnon, WLWT News 5.